the draft advisory board, when they told you, you know, maybe stay in college one more year, why did you make the decision to enter the draft? Uh, honestly, I felt it was a personal decision. I felt I was mature enough, especially with uh, the help of my position coach, Coach Grimes. And honestly, I just thought about it after the season, talked about it with my mom and my uncle. That was the best decision to do, so I followed through with it. Did you ever, you know, maybe get a little nervous as the draft was coming closer? Maybe you were reading things about, you know, yourself in papers before? Honestly, that didn't pretty much play a big role in my, my draft thing. Like, I, I was always, like, keeping forward. Like, you, you can't go back on your decision. So I stuck my decision, kept, kept riding, kept it in God's hands. Is this kind of a perfect role for you being with the Steelers, Hall of Famer and Coach Munchak, somebody who can help you if, you know, maybe you aren't exactly ready right now that can get you to that level? Oh, uh, honestly, I felt great with dealing with Coach Munchak. I felt I feel at home, honestly, especially with his help. Like from his from his career and all his stats, like he's a perfect man for the job I felt like and felt perfectly with the the draft pick. What was your interaction with the Steelers prior to the draft? Uh, I felt it was honestly similar to LSU, like everything around the atmosphere around here from Pittsburgh, like there's a strong fan base and they just love their football here. It just felt like, it felt like I was back at uh, LSU, honestly. Like to run the ball a lot too. Definitely, <laughs> very much, very similar offense. Like they still huddle a little bit too, so it felt there perfectly. Left, right side, do you have a preference or? Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter. I feel it's just a different stance. I feel comfortable at both sides. Do you like that you're versatile, that you, you can help on both sides if needed? Oh yeah, I love that I'm versatile. It pretty much have, gives me a better chance, honestly. And I love it. What's the best advice you've been given so far from anybody in the organization of just how to kind of transition into the league? Honestly, it's a mature league and uh, just to stay humble. Like, either you're not humble or you're big headed, you will get humble soon. So just stay humble and always work hard. What do you think so far of the, the group? The O-line. Honestly, I love the group. There's, there's some very great characters around there from Pouncey to, to all of them. The, uh, Big Al has been helping me out a lot just trying, trying to uh, teach me the offense. It's been going well. What did you know about the Steelers offense prior to coming to Pittsburgh? Uh, I felt was like they do a lot of uh, similar things as, uh, as my old offense at LSU. Uh, a lot of zone, a lot of gap scheme, uh, just a little more passing, but I feel as I can easily pick it onto that, so it's pretty much, pretty much comfortable now. What's the biggest thing you need to do besides the obvious, learning the playbook, just kind of getting acclimated and you know working out? Uh, really just more flexibility, more power, just and more speed. Just feel like you got to get more to this next level. It's not college anymore. It's really much professional football, so you have to get back to that speed. Are you seeing that already, just in the the minimal practices and things you guys are allowed to do? Oh yeah, everything is full speed here. Like there's no. Is uh, to the <laughs> to the max full 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 speed to the uh, pedal. So that's the only difference I feel. Last but not least, what do you think? What do you think about Pittsburgh so far? Just the city. I love Pittsburgh. Just the city. It's like just everyone around is pretty much is calm, football friendly. Just <laughs> uh, everyone's enjoys everyone. That's what it seems like so far.